Okay, this makes me mad. I can't even get up, you know, even though I'm trapped in the second, in turn second palace until I go home to podcast movement on August 20th. August 20th can't even get to here the fucking fast enough. Already been attacked by the heat. Already had attacked by Karen. That's why I'm trying to buy my time so I could get go go home to podcast member. I got a I got a deposit so I could go to my Exodus. Well not Exodus, my exile to Galveston on August thirty first. Uh what else? Uh well I said weather. I said Karen. Um then the store night nightmare. You got one store that can't even stay open to save somebody's life. Whenever they get money, oh, they want to close. Or when they send reinforcement, they want to close. Okay. Now I'm not allowed to say this at the request from a citizen. Um, yeah, I'm not allowed to say this at the request from a citizen. But just just say, let's just say. Then on top of that, I got terrible news from a friend. Okay. Now, out of all of that, all of that is to accommodate one thing after another, after another. It's like accommodating that we are now in World War I in Big D country. I'm about to snap. I mean, it's bad enough that the last time when I went to uh, PodFest, uh, PodFest in, 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 in March, the week before, I found out JB, I mean, that was like, a few days before, and then I was supposed to speak on the first goddamn day. The first day. We were doing Pochi Ketcha. I remember. I, I didn't even get off the plane. And I had to be sad. Because my mentor passed. There's a church that messed it up for me. When I'm trying to find another one. And, and, and to think about it, it happened before... August coming, and this is going to be the eighth year that my wife was suddenly taken from me from a freaking cardiac arrest by Dr. Renee and a chaplain told me the news that nearly almost destroyed me, which actually is dead because I can't even fucking recover. So you got the weather attacking me. You got the uh, you got the uh, 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 you got the store nightmare. Well, before that it was Karen, but still, you got the store nightmare. You got the bad news from a friend. You got you got this jerk that I'm about to tell you about. I can't talk about the jerk. Uh, I can't tell you, but I cannot because of instructions from the friend told me uh, told me to wait, and I'm going to buy to it. You know. I'm really going to buy to it, but I got a, I got a vent. I got a vent. I can't wake up without something happening, and I didn't even go anywhere. I'm still in my room. I'm still in my room. Every time, every day I wake up, there's always something, even when I don't go anywhere. I'm supposed to be safe in a place that I don't have to worry about being in that heat, nearly dying of a heat stroke. Outside. Every single day or every other day, something happened. This happened. That happened. This happened. That happened. This happened on the VT. That happened on the VT. This happened when you're out. This happened when you're not even in a damn, uh, not even in a damn place. My God. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am questioning what is going on right now. I am literally questioning. I'm going to read everything that, that first of all, read everything what this, uh, this jerk did. And I mean, this is about the queen of, uh, uh, well, not the queen, but uh, I don't have a queen yet, but I do have a first lady of Big D country. She is part of the cabinet, uh, Dr. Arnie Neymar. But you don't tell somebody who don't even want to be controlled what to do. Okay. She had been an Orthodox Jew all of her life. And then she has lost her father, who she loved very much. It is hard to celebrate Jewish holidays. And when you do that, 
and try to assault her. That's just like insulting my intelligence, like what happened the other day when 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 the the the, the roommate said that I don't I didn't know people were when I surely as hell do. But when you do that to a official a big D country, you cross the line. You jerk cross the line. Okay, now I'm about to go on attack mode. I'm about to attack. Okay, first let me say what, what I said on the Facebook post, and if I, now I got to get it again. But don't worry, I put it all on my Facebook page. I put it all out, and I don't usually normally would share a rant that uh, Irene posted on the post. I did rant another time for in support for Dr. Irene, but this is the second time because this made me the fuck mad and now she wants to stay single forever, and 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 and, and it messes and jerks, it's jerks like that, it jerks like that mess it up for the people like myself who is either single and looking or forced to be a widow, a widower, and it's because it's jerks like that. But before I go to the best story, let me tell you what I said. Okay, I said it just now before I even uh, recorded this podcast. All right. I'm done. Stop it. If every day I wake up, I get attacked. Weather, Karen, store nightmares, bad news from a friend, I can't say yet, and, and to punch me in from behind. To literally punch me from behind. Some idiot jerk trying to tell First Lady of Big D Country, Dr. Army Namer, how to fast. That makes me mad. You don't do that. Time to control a lady is wrong. What that girl did messed it up for me trying to find another wife heading to yet another year. Another year. Without the first queen of Big D country. I'm running away. Okay, so this is what I said before I shared Dr. Irene's post. Okay, this is what I response. Okay, you know what? Before I do that, let me get into the uh, the response to Dr. Irene, and I'll tell. I'll actually read what the, the idiot Jack Jones has said. Okay, this is this is what Dr. Irene uh, named a death post. It was like uh, t- twenty seven hours ago, but uh, this just, just just caught my attention. It just made me a man. Okay. It says, listen, I've been an orthodox Jew all of my life, all of my life. Soul check, one man band, yeah, soul check, one man band, had no business telling me when I can fast or not. I knew it, it was a holiday yesterday. I skipped breakfast and had a light lunch. He wanted to date me, blocked him. No man is allowed to control me. I don't need that to my uh, to in my life. It's been hard uh, for me to celebrate Jewish holiday without my father around. I don't care if I am single forever. And look, I will say it again. I will say it shit again. She said, and I quote: "I don't care if I'm single forever." I'll say it again until I blue, red. Black in the face. I don't care if I am single forever. And she also go, goes on, and I quote, I don't need. I do not need that kind of pressure in my life. We are taught in the Jewish religion never to judge anyone. So this is the uh, this is the other uh, test. Okay, this is the test. It says, uh, "I'm sorry, I am only fast half uh, half the day. Is that okay with you? Tomorrow my infusion. Uh, I don't start eating till noon." I could do, I I did the best I could. Then this jerk would have said, I just find it strange that you would send, uh, you would send food and drink piss on a fast day. That's what that jerk had did. I'll say it again. 
I will say it again. That jerk who messed it up with not only for me, but everybody else said, I just find it strange that you would send food and three pigs on a fat day. Alright. Wow. Wow. This is absolutely ridiculous. Then you got the nerve to send this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of, uh, I don't know what it is, some kind of quote that says, if you see what needs to be prepared and how to repair it, then you have found a piece of the world that God has left for you to complete. But if you only see what is wrong and what is ugly in the world, then it is you, it's you yourself that needs repair. You know, it is, it is like that, that I don't know why in the world that is going on here. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Dr. V, First Lady, you know why I don't do that. I was married from 2014 to 2015. I, was, I enjoyed being someone's husband. Okay, we were me and my what late wife worked together. Hell, we even we even we even had we wrote a book together. Well, we we even had we even did, uh, I even tried to help her to produce Princess the Bargain Hunter. She was gonna have a very old show. She was gonna do Princess the Bargain Hunter, and I was gonna produce it. Why? Because I loved her that much. I loved her that much, and I wanted to give her her own show. I don't control her. I loved her. But a joke like that? Who messed it up for everybody? Who is looking, who is genuinely looking? I'm sorry. That's so man jerk band and not even bad. I hope he never get a Grammy. I hope he never get an award. I hope his album flops. I hope he never get the band gig ever again. You! You disrespected Big D Country. When you disrespect the First Lady of Big D Country, you disrespect me, you, dis you disrespect the Second Palace, and you disrespect what Big D Country means. So, man, bad, you're fired! This is World War I Big D Country! Out! 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 Out!